guys, it's Anissa. Welcome back to my channel. super super excited for today's video because we are going to be starting a new series on this channel among the many that we already have but the more the merrier we are going to be starting a series called shop my sash if you guys have never seen these videos on youtube and honestly i've never watched one but i got this concept off of instagram as of recently, I have started shopping my stash every week, which means I rotate my products because as you guys know, I am a creature of habit. So what I'll do every week is I will go over to my little makeup bin section that you guys will see in a minute, and I will pick a full face of products out and I will uh, throw it in this bin and I'll use all those products all week. And then I will rotate every other week. So I was like, oh my gosh, how fun would it be to do that for a video once or twice a month, however many times you guys wanna see it. And then I can kind of constantly always update you guys on what I'm loving, what I'm hating. And then also just talk to you guys because I feel like I really don't get the chance to do that in my full face videos or any makeup video that I do because I'm so focused on the makeup and not me and I really want you guys to be able to get to know me and kind of close that connection between makeup Anissa and then Anissa outside of makeup if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you guys didn't know I post on this channel every four days every product that is mentioned or used will always be in the description box that way you guys can go ahead and find it and you don't have to type it in Google and do all that I do all the hard work if you guys want to know how we came up with this look then keep on watching okay so we're gonna start over here this is what i keep my makeup in it is a knockoff of the ikea drawers i got this one from walmart but it's actually a little bit wider than the actual ikea one so that's why i went for this one and it's on wheels so i can bring it over here if i need to which is like kind of my filming area but usually for the most part i put everything that i use in this bucket and then kind of just transfer it that way everything goes in somewhat of a chronological order that i use it so i have my primers and then down here it's foundation and then towards the bottom it gets a little bit <laughs> messy just because I have so many eye products we are going to start with the primer drawer and this has my face primers and my eye primers I only have two eye primers right now I really like this one it's really good for if you want your eyelids to be corrected before you use it this is the elf putty primer and this is in the color clay which you can see it's pretty similar to my skin tone and then I also have this wet and wild one but for some reason I have really been reaching for this one like a lot so I'm gonna go ahead, if I could get it, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use this one for my eye primer. And then for my face primer, this has been my like go-to, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I've been absolutely loving it. It feels amazing in the morning, it's just super refreshing. But I think today I'm going to use this Too Faced Prime Poreless. When I bought this, I meant to buy the hangover version of it, and I just saw the pink packaging and was like, oh, it must be the same. But I'm actually almost out of it. This is actually a really, really good primer. Next, this is foundations and concealers. I have been color correcting, so I'm going to go ahead and use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. And I also have one from Black Radiance, but this has only been used when I did it in the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one today. And then for my actual concealer, I think I want to use the Hydrating Camo Concealer from e.l.f. I'm going to go with this uh, Fenty Concealer. This is in the color 360. That leads me right into what foundation I wanna use. I have not been using this at all as of lately, and it is actually my favorite. Should I use this one? I have only used this foundation two or three times. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible. I just got some shader sticks from Juvia's Place, but I just am kind of holding off on this. This Milk Makeup one is definitely not my summer color. It's more of a winter color. Next is powder. So for my face powder, I have really not been using my Fenty or my Huda. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the Huda Beauty one because I'm already using the concealer and foundation and this is in the color cinnamon bun and as always in all my videos I don't know if I say this but if you want to anything that I've mentioned anything that I use in a video I will always link it in the description box for you guys I cannot help but just gravitate towards this Too Faced powder that I just recently picked up I have been loving it so so much this drawer is contour highlight blush all that bronzer blah 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 uh, I already know what blush I'm going to use this is the Minted Cosmetics 
uh, blush in the color Buried Away. And I know I only have three blushes, but I feel like it's excessive to have a lot of blush. For bronzer, I want to use something a little bit more warm and I want to use it underneath my foundation. So I'm going to use this now. I'm going to use this NYX HD concealer and this is in the color Expresso. I'm going to use this underneath my foundation, which is something that I have never done. And then I already know for sure I want to use this Over Cosmetics Nikki Tutorials Trio. Absolutely amazing. You guys know how much I love these Becca hi um, highlighters. And then this one actually got used in a video that I filmed yesterday. These are all my lip products. Usually I have a thing with my lipsticks in it, but long story short, I had my birthday last week and my parents and my sister put little ducks all in my sink. So I have been getting ready in the bathroom next to me and I just needed lipstick one day. So I already know that I wanna use this new Dubious Place matte lipstick and this is in the color Me. These formulas are absolutely amazing. They're the most comfortable matte ones that I have been using as of lately. This one from Luna by by Luna. I got this in a boxy charm and it's just in the color Venus. And then for lip liner, I'm going to use this dark uh, chocolate Elf Retro Paradise one. Okay, next I have Overflow eyeshadow palettes, uh, mascara, uh, glitter eyeshadows, single eyeshadows. So I'm actually going to today, I've been loving this Wilma Baby Hair Brow Pencil. It's absolutely amazing. And then for mascara, my favorite as of recently has been this Bad Gal Bang Bang Benefit. I love the wand on this so much. More eyeshadow palettes that goes all the way back. This whole thing is full. And then I have all the ones that I can fit on top up here. So I actually, and you can check out my beauty Instagram that I will link down in the description box. I just bought all these Dubious Place palettes. I bought nine, I think, maybe 10. But I have been wanting this Nubian palette by Juvius for literally, ugh, like six or seven months and I went ahead and picked it up. So we're gonna try this today. I've actually never used it, so I'm really excited. But we have our goodies and we are gonna go ahead and sit down and do some makeup. We're going to go ahead and get into it because you guys already know all the products that I'm using, but I'll still put my little slides as I always do. I just figured that this would be a good series to add to my channel because I do want to start doing more makeup tutorials. I feel like I'm not confident enough yet to do a full on makeup tutorial. So this can kind of also be my way of just like sitting down and talking to you guys because I feel like when I do makeup, all of what I do pretty much is first impressions. And honestly, I need to stop buying makeup until I start using the makeup that I have now. So I figured doing these videos once a month would be really fun. And also, it'll be an easy way to kind of give you guys updates on products after I buy them. Because as you can see in that beginning clip, I kind of went along and told you guys what I was choosing, but also things that I've been loving, things that were kind of on the rocks. But yeah, I have had a lot going on the past, I want to say like two weeks. So I turned 18 a week ago today and that has been just crazy within itself. On my birthday, I went and got a tattoo and I'll put a picture of it in here. It's just a little cross behind my ear, but I have not been putting Vaseline on it, but I've been cleaning it. So here was my mindset. I was like, okay, at least if I don't have the Vaseline, cause I don't own any except for the kind that I put on my lips. I was like, if I don't own any Vaseline, at least I'll be cleaning it and that'll be it. Okay, well, wrong, because all I was doing was drying it out and taking, stripping all the moisture that my skin naturally had. So now it's completely faded. I mean, it scabbed and it took all the color with it. So it looks like I got a <laughs> jail tattoo, which is great for me, love that. I have to get it touched up, which, you know, no big deal, but I called the guy and I was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, this was not your fault. This was completely my fault and I recognize that. I didn't listen to you and that was that, but he is going to be nice enough to touch it up for me, which I was like, honestly, I might just pay you because this is not even your fault at all. I've been working a lot this week, like a lot, a lot. After tomorrow, I will have clocked in 48 hours this week. But anyways, um, you're probably looking at me and being like, Anissa, you've never done this technique before. I know. I think until I am confident enough in my blending abilities as far as contour, I'm gonna do it underneath. That way I still have something. Oh, and now I'm throwing things. That way I have something underneath to kind of contour and I really like the way that it's going on on my natural skin. I don't have anything else going on right now. Also, my hair straight, as you can probably see. Actually getting washed tonight, so that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna film this video. Now I can at least have some videos with straight hair. I got my hair straightened for my birthday. 
I have my last round of senior pictures in three or four days. So what I'm going to do, my hair's been straight for too long. So how it was, I put my pictures and my birthday together. That way I can have my hair straight, but two weeks is too long to not wash it. I mean, this is exactly a week and a day and it needs to be washed. I haven't used a Real Technique sponge in forever because I've been loving my e.l.f. sponges, so I feel very weird right now. I have been trying to use my Beauty Blender because if you didn't watch my last empties video, you so should. You guys seem to love those videos. I said that I was getting rid of my Beauty Blender because I just wasn't reaching for it. And you know, I thought to myself, I was like, I shop my stash every week. So the makeup that I put on my face, I rotate all my makeup because a lot of times I will forget about things that I love. And I was like, you know what? I'm done doing that. Like I want to, remember what I love and use it. So I shop my stash every week, but I was like, you know what? As far as my brushes go, I mean, I really, I have two, four, six, I have six cups of brushes and I really reach for the same ones. I've used all them, but I was like, I really use the same sponges. I like that the sponge is bouncy. I would say even this Real Techniques one, but it's wet and it just feels very dry compared to my elf sponges that I feel like are just pillows on my face. I mean, these were my holy grail. I used to rotate through these and buy new ones every two months. As of recently, I have been doing a lot of high-end makeup and I've probably said this before in a recent video. I don't remember what I say. I just kind of say whatever. But I feel like as of recently, I have been doing a lot of high-end makeup and Drugstore makeup, I think for most people, they can say that that's where they kind of started, was in the drugstore. So I definitely want to go back to those roots and do a lot more drugstore stuff, because it is so fun to just go in the drugstore and splurge and get a whole bunch of stuff for a reasonable price. But I also do want to say, I feel like sometimes I'm very critical of products, and I feel like I'm very critical of high-end products, because here's the thing. You go to the dollar store and you buy those dollar apple chargers you're not going to expect for them to be as good as quality as the actual expensive apple chargers and i kind of feel the same way with high-end makeup high-end makeup has no excuse to not perform well if you are you know putting and spending a lot of money and investing into a product it should work i feel like from now on i'm going to be a little bit more judgmental when it comes to high-end makeup because it should it should perform better you're spending more money on it versus where you could go to the drugstore and get probably 10 of what you got a little note i haven't used that concealer in a while but it actually dries down very fast i mean i'm sure me talking it doesn't help but just a little note i mean i've really been struggling especially as of lately with fenty because i feel like i really loved and still do love a lot of their products but i mean for instance so like that concealer it's all right i would be lying to you if i told you that i would rather grab that than the elf concealer or my maybelline concealer because i wouldn't i just i like those ones better so I, I don't know, I've been kind of trying to make exceptions, not exceptions, but give those products another try because I like liking stuff. I don't not like liking stuff that I spend my money on. And by the way, I am using a brush because that concealer is very dry and I already know me trying to pack powder into that dry concealer is not going to do good at all. You can kind of see where the concealer, and this is probably just because the sponge. So I think I'm gonna have to let go of this one for good because the sponge was so hard, it kind of moved the product around a little bit. I really only do that when I'm doing quick makeup. That was a lot. I am a senior in high school. I just submitted my application to my dream college. I feel like the past year and a half, when I thought about college, I was like, oh yeah, I work hard so I feel like I can go anywhere I want to but I don't know something changes when you actually press that submit button and it's like okay this is out of completely out of your hands now you've done everything that you can it's up to somebody else so I don't know it's just nerve-wracking I know I try not to doubt myself because I feel like a very confident person but at the same time you just can't help but doubt sometimes you really can't before I start I'm going to go in with the color on the bottom row second to the left I have been cranking out videos ideas and videos like it has been nothing there have been a lot of videos that I've done that I just didn't like the way that they turned out 
And I am somebody that if I don't like something, I cannot accept that and be okay with that and sit there and work on it and then put it out there for you guys to watch, which I mean, sometimes it's just the vibe of the video. Sometimes I'm not, I don't like the way that my vibe is and it's all in timing. And I think a big part of it too is I try to schedule when to film certain days, but sometimes you just don't feel like it. I have to realize that sometimes it's just better to wait, especially when I'm really in the mood to do makeup. I feel like that's when I have some of my best videos. It's just as of recently, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. I've just been really busy and sometimes it is hard to not edit, but just sit down and start editing because once I start editing, I'm fine. I can sit there for hours and hours and hours and do it, but sometimes it's just getting the courage and time to sit down and be still. But these shades are coming off a lot more warm than I thought. This I thought this would be a lot more chocolatey, but it's actually coming off very, very warm, which I'm not mad at. Ever since I started that beauty channel, it's been really cool to see how different makeup can take its form, even on platforms. I've been following a lot of like pan projects, pages, people who do strictly shop my stashes where they do reviews of their makeup every week. It's been really fun. And it honestly has kind of inspired me in a new way and kind of given me an extra boost and just been like, wow, like this is really an amazing community and I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I am actually going to take this five below brush that I got for two or three bucks. I've actually really been loving it for my, if I want to darken up my crease, I'm going to take this, it almost looks like a black and put that right on my outer crease just to kind of darken it up. Like I said, I have been working a lot, but I do want to say I feel like everyone has been affected by what's going on a little bit differently. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this, at least in my get to know me tag, because I feel like in my first impression videos, again, I really don't talk about myself. I really try to keep it with the makeup because that's what you guys are here to see. I am a certified home health aide. I want to go to school and get a bachelor's of science in nursing and then maybe go on to be a nurse practitioner. I absolutely love my job and I will tell anybody and everybody that, although I do realize my job is not for everybody I am for my job I will say though I think I have been affected a little bit differently especially than my friends it's been kind of hard because I feel like I really don't have anybody to relate to that's my age when this started happening probably in March and we got pulled out of school I was working pretty much every day eight-hour shifts sometimes 12s because we needed the extra help I mean you have to think these people older people they, we weren't letting them leave their rooms they couldn't see their families I think some people fail to realize that it's not over we're trying to adapt and kind of shape it into our lives versus stopping everything that's happening. I'm sure people have their own opinions on that within itself. I'm going to take this absolutely gorgeous gold color and I'm gonna put that on my lid. I feel like when this all kind of started happening, I felt really bad. I really didn't do much. The only thing that changed was that I wasn't going out to eat and like doing stuff out in public. The only people I saw were my boyfriend and my family. It was hard because, you know, sometimes you complain about having, you know, an annoying sister or an annoying brother and blah 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 and you know you don't mean it you don't realize the impact that your words have behind them then it's like you know these people are here and they're all by themselves and they can't see their families and they don't get to go home and you know complain about the tv being too loud i wouldn't say i became depressed but i definitely it was mentally affected 100 it was really really hard i was at work all day with all these people who I mean were like begging us please like let us out of our rooms please and we're like you, you know we can't and we're not doing this because we hate you or it's not anything personal we're doing this because we love you and we want you to be okay thankfully my building during this whole time was COVID negative the whole time and I really do contribute that to us being so strict about everything that was going on I mean we were not playing any games and I know it had a mental negative effect on those people, but I think at the end of the day, it was worth it if they all still get to live. Next week is homecoming, which I'm so excited. I don't know, you just, you hear people say that time flies, but you don't realize how much time flies until you're actually in that position. From now on, if you guys haven't been able to notice, usually I really loved to play with my background colors and do different things. And I try to change my background color just to keep it poppy and kind of coordinate it to whatever I'm doing with my eyes. But uh, one day I got lazy and did not hang up a background. This is actually the wall. The wall is actually gray. It was my part two of full face using black on makeup. I was editing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I look so orange in this. But I realized I didn't look orange. This is actually my true skin color. Those other backgrounds that I was using, they were washing me out, especially my last full face of first impressions where I had the red background. I looked so pale. And I was like, you know what? 
I like this because everything is really true to color. What you're seeing right now, this is my actual skin color. It's not distorted. This is exactly what it looks like under studio lights. If anybody uses me as a color guide, I want them to be able to see what these things would kind of look like on them. I actually have been kind of wanting to do a day in the life or a week in the life video, but I feel like my weeks and my days just fluctuate so much but I feel like that would be so fun to do because I feel like that's really one of the best ways that you guys can get to know me. I think from now on too, a lot of my videos that I do are full faces and I think to kind of optimize and push out more videos because that does get very expensive, I'm sure you can imagine. I'm going to go ahead and kind of just do many, still do my full faces, but kind of do reviews on single products that are coming out. That way I can do more with it and I don't necessarily have to accumulate a full face of things. And I feel like that'll also be a little bit more fun too because because then I can keep reincorporating products that I'm loving, things that I'm using. Y'all know I cannot talk while I do my brows. I know I already said this, but I have absolutely been freaking loving this. I like this better than the Anastasia, my dip brow and my pencil. It's just super, super tiny, but the color is also spot on with what my actual hair is or that look that I'm going for. I feel like when you buy a black pencil, it can tend to come off really, really black, almost like blue black, like you have tattooed eyebrows on. I have been trying to kind of stay away from that but also I feel like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with blush and I also have been loving this brush this is the billion dollar brushes uh, I use it it's a powder brush but I use it as a blush brush because it's big enough that it's actually the perfect size for my cheek but it's also not too compact so you don't get a really big bang of color but I just love the way this color comes off I was actually very scared when I first bought this because I actually used this in my very first full face using black makeup and I was like this is very bright but it comes off so pretty on my skin tone and I'm using the shade on the very end I am kind of mad at myself that I did not start using Ofra Cosmetics highlighters until now nose highlight is easily my favorite part boom I just bought a handheld fans on Amazon, so I'm so happy for that to come in because then instead of doing this, I can just go like this and be like, ah, all done. Oh, this is very chocolate brown. It's a little splotchy if you guys can see that. Hopefully this is a good combo. I didn't realize how dark this was. definitely recommend if you are a chocolate girl and you're looking for a matte good formula lipstick with good colors this is the way to go because I really do not like matte just because of the way that it feels but this is really comfortable and I just like gloss so I'm gonna go ahead and use gloss I wonder if the big version of this mascara has the same wand Yeah, it makes it super easy for me to really get in there, but also not hit my skin, which is my biggest pet peeve in life. This is what we came up with shopping my stash today. If you guys like these videos, please let me know because I actually had so much fun filming this. I feel like it was kind of me just sitting down and doing my makeup on any other regular day. If you guys have any video suggestions, recommendations, anything you want to see specifically, please let me know down in the comments. I'm so, so open to suggestions and hearing what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days. Bye.